Thank you. Thank you. Enjoying your coffee? Great, as usual. So what? What do you want for Christmas? Holy! What? That's my arch nemesis. Senor Santa Santos. Senor Santa Santos? <laughs> Who's that? It all started when I was just... this. Oh, God! Dude. Are you alright? Uh, oh. That's quite a fall. You should watch where you're walking. This is the last straw. Right. You deliberately dropped that leg for me slipping. They can't think I did that on purpose. Don't think I have been watching you. I'd stay away from him if I were you. He is pure evil. I am. Coming or going? I don't know. I'm coming with you. Right. you want me to hold your hand or something? Hold. Oh. Oh, look, when we go on the street, you're going to have to have adult supervision. I don't think I need that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kid, someday this house will all be yours. I, I hate to tell you, Granddad, but they're going to force you out. I have lived here for 73 goddamn years. They're going to have to pry my cold dead corpse out of here. <laughs> Queen, I will not be your unwitting sex slave. Come on, man. Wake up. Uh, oh, 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 shit. What's up, Broseph? I missed the interview for my bartending job last night. Oh man, that would have been a cool job too. You know, you could have gotten me free booze and bartenders get all the action, you know what I'm saying, well, man? Maybe I can reschedule. You know where I'm gonna be getting a job at, right? The coffee shop. Phase one, getting a coffee girl's tight slacks. Okay, you go do that. Sadly enough, this is probably the best idea you've ever had because at least you'll get a job out of it. Hey, Sue. Nadia in? No, MC. You just missed her. She's kind of pissed at you. I know, I know. I just passed out. She waited like two hours after her regular shift for you. You think you can um, smooth things down for me? Please? Tell her I'll be back around 11. Can't hurt to try. You're a lifesaver, Suzy Q. Don't call me that. Why? I think it's an awesome nickname. And you, my dear, need a nickname. Just not that. Or the next time you're in here drinking, I'll knock you off your bar stool. Point taken. Remember, 11. Can I get a job? Um, ever work in food services before? Nah, but I've eaten plenty. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're looking for someone with more experience and hygiene. Oh, hey. Welcome and stuff. Uh, can I get you a pretzel? I have salt pretzels, um, special pretzels. Uh, Sugar pretzel? What can I get you? Nah, man, I want a job. Oh, yes, yes. Um, when can you work? Right now, man. Fantastic. Here, take this. I can take this. Sweet. I got
got you now just a little closer. God Hopkins. Y yes, ma'am. We have the board walking the wall tonight. We need everything in tip-top shape. Yes, ma'am. Enough of that. I need you to make sure the boy who lives in the parking lot is otherwise occupied. Can I use the dogs? Yes. I mean, no. What dogs? Oh, nothing. Don't screw up, Hopkins, or you're out. Yes, ma'am. Yo, what happened with the coffee shop? They said they wanted somebody with some sort of experience. Most jobs tend to want that. Well, yeah, but what's so hard about pouring coffee into a cup and saying, here's your coffee, man? You for jerk. You forgot the most important part. No way. What are you talking about? Pain the money. Whatever. They make enough money as it is. Hey, guys. What's up? Nothing much. So you found yourself a job? Yeah. How much did they pay? Oh, like $30. An hour? Yeah, and benefits. Damn, where do I sign up? Nah, they're not hiring. It's your bum. Later. They don't really pay you 30 an hour, do they? Uh, yeah, I, th I think so. I mean, what do these kinds of jobs usually pay? Like seven or eight an hour. Oh man, that means I have to stand here for like 15 minutes just to make a dollar. Well, actually 10, but yeah, welcome to the world of the employee. <sighs> I have to go to the bar. I got another chance. Hey, bring me back a shot. How am I gonna bring you back a shot? <laughs> uh, never mind, I'll see you later. Oh no, my coke! So, no! Why? My soda! Who cares about your soda? I want my soda! No one likes me, no one likes you either. But my soda loves me. Ah! <gasps> He's awake, sir! Who the hell are you? I finally got you! Theft! I have still nothing. You got a receipt for that beverage? You mean, uh, soda that you spilled? No, I threw it away. So what you're saying is, they have no proof that, that beverage in your possession was paid for. You can't be serious. Oh, I am! Deadly. Serious. Watch him, Jones. Okay, boss. Hola, President Stampis, and I would like to try those local pretzels. Nope, we're all out. Um, what about a sugar pretzel? Out of those two. Uh, so what about... No pretzels for you, fat man. Oh, you are still sourcing the last time we met, eh? Well, what do you want for Christmas? I want an airplane. <laughs> you want an airplane? Do you want to fly an airplane? It's unbelievable. Todd left after Santos came over. Santos? Oh man, what happened? Yeah, that evil man came over to me again today. God. Just run off my dog and give me scabies. It can't be that bad, I'm saying. Hopkins, he tackled me and kept me prisoner for hours. For what, people in Victoria's Secret? No. I'm still in a soda. Wait, why'd you do that? I didn't. I didn't have the receipt, so he said I stole it. Wow, that's harsh. Not bad. I have a plan. Do we be back here in like three hours? All right, sounds good. Oh, crap, that tool security guard made me leak for my interview again. I should probably go down to the bar and try to explain, don't you think? Good luck. See you guys. Thank you. Later. Your mother eats yellow not in the winter. Nadia, whoa, my mother's dead. She didn't eat anything. I would teach you with it. But it wasn't my fault. Let me explain. No more excuses, you. You late come up! It wasn't my fault. Lie! I'll come back. Crazy, bitch. And I would drop it on your cat! After how the bar went, I'm so ready to nail Hopkins. We have to be quick though, he's gonna be back any minute. What's in the case? A honey badger. A honey badger? Yeah, he's the 2002 
Guinness Book of World Records most fearless animal. I've named him Ralph. Oh, he's so cute. Mm. Ooh, don't put your fingers too close. So what's Ralph doing here? And you, do you need shots for those? Ralph is the linchpin in our greatest revenge scheme. And no, he's had all his shots. I do get a honey badger anyway. eBay. I thought he was going to be like Pooh Bear and say, oh, bother. But he's not. He is really mean. I still think he's really cute. Don't tell me your plan laying him out. Plan on? Honey's already out. This is so, so not okay. okay. That was so awesome. One day they're gonna put you away for a very long time. Yeah, well, they'll have to catch me first. You are very fast. Is that a fat joke? A slow joke. Guys, who's the badger anyway? I said it was Is he alright? Is Ralph alright? I mean, I'd go over to him by having like fingers. Yo, dude. Here's some H2O for you. Yeah. Thank you. So, um, how's the, um, pestle shop going? Pretty good, except for Santos's intrusion. I get paid to just stand there. Don't you have any customers? Yeah, sometimes. The smell of the hot dog trays usually keeps them away. <laughs> Yo, those things have been sitting there for like three <laughs> weeks. They're like little leather cigars. Wow. Remind me never to order a hot dog from there again. <coughs> Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs>